upon the world. And, and the book of Mormon. With Charlie. And Abby. And, and friends. friends. Hi friends, welcome to the Book of Mormon lab. Charlie, let's see what is in the bottom of the Leahona today. I can hear something. It's rocks. It's rocks. What do you see in here, Charlie? Soil. There's soil, rocks, rocks. little pebbles. Pebble. In science, Charlie has been studying a lot about geology. Charlie, what things have you been learning about? Uh, geology. Rocks. That's right. Charlie loves rocks. Geology is the study of the earth. The outside layer of the earth is called the crust, just like the outside of a piece of bread is called the crust. But instead of flour, water, and other ingredients, the earth's crust is made up of rock, sand, dirt, and other materials that cover the entire world. Let's read the scripture that's inside the Liahona to see if we can figure out what geology has to do with this week's lesson. Abby, do you want to read it for us? It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days when the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations and shall flow onto it. Thanks, Abby. Now don't forget to get yours so that you could be playing this game with your family. Did you see or hear a word that might be about geology, the study of the earth? Rocks. The mountain? That's right. It said, when the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. The earth's crust is made up of very large plates that are very heavy and they actually move, but they move very slowly. Let's show you how this works with some towels. You could do this experiment at home. So what happens are these plates are always moving and sometimes they actually move together. So let's see what happens when the earth's plates move. Here, let's start here and push them together. <gasps> you just made a mountain. That's how mountains are formed by these plates. Let's pull them out again. It takes really long time to form mountains. It does. Now let's go back to our scripture. Nephi is quoting the prophet Isaiah who wrote in the brass plates. Remember, Nephi took the brass plates from Laban. Do you know what the mountain of the Lord's house should be established in the top of the mountains is talking about? Um, like a church? That's a good guess. What else church do you think he could temple? be talking about? Temple. The temple, that's right. Here is a picture of the temple. And here are some more temples. Let's try to make a mountain again. And this time, let's pretend that this side is us and this side is Jesus. Now let's push it together, kids. And Jesus and us, we make covenants together. The temple is a house of the Lord. President Nelson said, if you choose to make covenants with God and are faithful to those covenants, you have the promise of glory added upon your head forever and ever. In the scriptures, we learn that God often told the prophets to go to a mountain. Everybody make a mountain with your hands to speak to them. For example, God told Nephi to go to a mountain and there he told him to build a ship. He told Moses to go to a mountain and that's where he received the 10 commandments. God speaking to man is called revelation. Today we can go to a temple to receive personal revelation from God. The temple is a house of the Lord. We can learn about God's law just like Moses did. And we can also learn how to build our life and return to live with Jesus Christ just like Nephi did when he built the boat and helped his family get to the promised land with God's help. I know that the temple is the house of the Lord. They are beautiful, peaceful, and inspiring, not only on the outside, but on the inside where we learn and make covenants. I am grateful for holy temples. I know that covenants I made in the temple will last forever if we keep his commandments. Now it's time to experiment upon the words in the Book of Mormon. For today's experiment, you will need vinegar and baking soda to make sodium acetate. Now we already have some right here, so we're going to put that here. First, we're going to put on some gloves. Now we have our gloves on, we have our sodium acetate, and this is going to represent Jesus Christ. And these Petri dishes are going to represent us. So what we're gonna do is, Abby, I'm gonna have you help me first, and then Charlie will do it again, and I'm gonna have you help me next, okay? So the first step we're going to do is we're gonna take our Petri dish, and we are going to pour 
or acetate inside of it, okay? We're gonna open it and we're gonna pour it all inside here. Okay, and now we're gonna cover it up. We're gonna take our seed crystals right here, and this is just sodium acetate too, and we're gonna dump it on the table right here. Now, we just need a little pinch. Abby, do you wanna take a little pinch? Tiny. Just like one or two? You're gonna put it right in the middle when I open it. Ready? It's ready, one, two, three. Whoa! Do you see the crystals? Yeah. Cool, huh, Charlie? Yeah. If I pick this up, feel underneath, Abby. It's warm. <gasps> that is so cool. It's warm. Charlie, you want to try? This is how they make hot packs. Oh, wow. So it's warm. That's pretty neat. And look, it's pretty solid. Went from a liquid to a solid really fast. See? Yeah. <laughs> no, try to dump it. <laughs> dump it? No, nope, can't dump it out. No, can try. No dumping. So the Petri dish represents us. And Jesus is the sodium acetate. When we are together with the Savior and we have these crystals, these crystals represent the covenants that we make in the temple. So Jesus, everybody put your hand up. And us, we come together and we make promises. We make covenants with him in holy temples. But it's pretty flat. How are we going to make a mountain of the Lord in a temple? Let's see. Okay, Javi, you ready? Yeah. You're going to pour it slowly. <gasps> Do you see that? We're making a mountain of the Lord as we join Jesus in holy temples and make covenants with him. Isn't that amazing? Okay, okay, touch it. Charlie, do you want to touch it? Does it feel hard? Oh, oh. It's hard, right? Yeah, it's also it very warm. Did it feel warm to you? <laughs> so let's do that again with the Petri dish, which represents us. And the sodium acetate, which is vinegar and baking soda, represents Jesus Christ. All of it, dump it all in. Okay, ready? Make it as tall as you can. Look at that, we're making an instant mountain. <laughs> Look at it work. Good job, Charlie. We have two mountains. And now what are the mountains? The house of the Lord. The house of the Lord. The temple is the house of the Lord. And in temples, we can receive the greatest blessings that God has for us here on earth. It's a way that we are connected to heaven. Feel how warm that is. Even the top part is really, really warm. This warm feeling represents the Holy Ghost. Charlie felt the Holy Ghost the other day, the day he was given the Aaronic Priesthood. Charlie, do you want to tell us how you felt when dad gave you the Aaronic Priesthood last week? Happy. Yes, Charlie, you were so happy. He was glowing. The Holy Ghost is like the stamp of approval, saying, yes, you are now bound by covenant with God, even when receiving the priesthood like Charlie did. The Holy Ghost is also known as the Holy Spirit of promise, which means to seal or to approve. Have you ever seen a passport? Well, a passport has a stamp from the country you live in that says, yes, you are a citizen of that country and allows you to travel all over the world. And then it gets stamped when you go into a different country. This is one of the roles of the Holy Ghost. It is if he is saying, you are part of God's family and you are sealed by covenants with him and your loved ones. We are kind of like this rock as we go to the mountains of the Lord to learn. It is like a hammer that we use to hit the rock to discover what's inside. Charlie, do you want to see what you found in one of your rocks? Look at how pretty. So this is what it looked like Mom's on the back favorite. side. This what? is my favorite rock. And then this is the inside. Isn't that so beautiful? Now, as we go to the mountain of the Lord, the temple, we are like the hidden crystals inside, just ready to be cracked open as we learn about our infinite worth and value. President Nelson said, make no mistake about it. Your potential is divine. With your diligent seeking, God will give you glimpses of who you may become. You, my friends, are a child of God. 
He loves you. You are like these crystals of great worth. There are some more videos you can watch about temples in the description below and this temple lesson booklet to help you learn more about the temples. I know that the temple is the house of the Lord. I can feel God's love for me when I go and the love for others. I know it is his holy house and that he desires to bless you as you prepare now to be worthy to go to the temple. You can prepare yourself by following Jesus. Now don't forget your new Book of Mormon reading chart at mtcforkids.com. Don't forget to read your scriptures every day and then write this week's scripture on your gold plates. Thank you friends for joining us as we experimented upon the words found in the Book of Mormon. Until next time, remember Jesus loves you. Bye, Bye my friends. friends. Before you go, support our channel by joining our scripture club and get fun printables. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? If not clicked, subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified when we post our next video. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. See us soon. Bye my friends.